If you need to build an application that scales with your business and doesn't require a developer, well, this is the solution for you. It's called a NAC. We're able to build the application via AI and we can scale without limits. Now, let me explain what NAC can do before we actually get started. NAC is an application that provides a portal where users can log in and you can limit access to certain sections of this portal. Plus, you'll be able to create as many databases as needed for your portal. That means that we're not limited on how it's going to scale or grow and how it's going to connect. Now, the beauty about this is that they've implemented AI, which makes things super easy for us to build this application. So let's get started. Now, this is NAC, and we're able to start off with a simple AI prompt. But I do recommend that you take some time and just explain what you want to accomplish so the AI can build it for you. In this case, I'm going to get started with something really simple, which is a client portal. But I do recommend that you really explain what you need. Once you explained it, go ahead and kick this off and the AI is going to do its job. So in a few minutes, this is going to be ready and I'm going to show you how to use NAC and take full advantage of it. Here we go. Our application is now ready and we have several tabs available because that's what we wanted when we asked AI. Now, don't worry about this because if you miss something, you forgot to add a table or you forgot to mention a specific user role, we can do all that over here on the AI customizers. We just go ahead and chat with it and let it know what we need or we can even ask it what we potentially might need. So it's pretty cool and it's really advanced and it works just like it should. Now, let me go ahead and show you the live app right now. So let's go ahead and jump over here. And right now, if someone jumps into that link, they'll be able to view the dashboard. Now, currently, this dashboard is not locked, so we can go ahead and lock this with AI. But I can go ahead and log out right now just to show you a quick example. So right now, these projects, these sections are all locked. But if I log in, I'll be able to view everything right now. So let's go ahead and log in. And here we go. We're now logged in and we're able to view all of this. Now, you might think that this is complex, but AI removes all of that complexity. By just talking to it, we can do something. For example, for video editors. OK, so just. I'm going to tell it to create a user role for me that is for video editors. I mean, they might need access to something here on the project tracker and I want to have that separated. I don't want it to use the user roles that are created already. OK, so here we go. NAC is doing this job right here and it's going to create the user role for me. So here we go. Here's the plan and it's just doing it's walk, doing a walkthrough of what it's going to do. Uh, would you like me to proceed with creating the video editor user role? Now, one of the cool things about this is that it's going to create the relevant fields for the user role. Now I can ask it to add more fields in this case, or I could just go ahead and continue. I'll just say yes, continue. OK, but I can go ahead and be really specific. I can go ahead and modify. And just like this, I'll be able to create tables, pages, user roles, and I can do things with those. I can add demo data for the user roles. I can lock pages with the chat just by asking. So it makes things easier Now I can do all this via chat or I can do this manually. Now that's going to be created in a bit, but let's go ahead and continue. Now that's for the AI feature and I can go ahead and start different chats right here for different purposes, but it makes things super easy to build my application using the AI builder. Now, if I want to do this manually, I can jump into the table. Now, in this case, AI created for us four tables. Now, remember, if I forgot to add a table, just go ahead and tell AI and do it for us. If not, I can do this manually by adding a table. I can add Google Sheets, a pre-made table, Excel, a blank table, and just get started. Now, in tables, you can see that there's field pre-filled because that's just demo data, so you know how to get started, but it understands your needs. Now, you can see here in fields that these are the fields required for this specific table, which is a project one, but I can add more fields if needed. Now, I can add several type of fields here that I can use for the, in this case, projects. So depending on my needs, I can go ahead and do this. Now, again, I can do this manually or via AI. Now, once you have your table and you're good to go on the right, there's a little section that has, for example, your connection fields. Now, you'll see here that they are connected one with another, but I can make a new connection straight from here. I can also do validation rules. So kind of like conditional logic, but it's called validation rules to make sure that the rules validate a field's value. There's conditional logic, which is called conditional rules. In this case, you got your task that you can create and it just automate certain processes here in the table section. Next, I'm going to show you the user roles. So again, with user roles, these are the ones that were created with AI. And this one was created afterwards by asking it. So here we go. Video editors was, was added afterwards and it understood the job. So it added the fields that I might need for this. So specialist and it even added some tags right here that are video editor related. So the AI understands what you want. 
experience level, hourly rate, portfolio. We got the video editors right here in the user roles. Now, again, if you forgot to add a field and you want to do it manually, you can do it from here. If you want to remove a field, just go ahead and remove it from here. And just like in tables, again, you got your connections on the right. In this case, this is a brand new user role, so it's not connected to anything. But if I go to clients and I go to connection, clients is connected to the clients section. So they are not connected to the team section. They are not connected to different sections, just the client one. And I can create connections like those. I got the validation rules, conditionals, and tasks for the user roles. Next, I have pages. So if I want to modify the look and style of the pages, I can do so right here. So I just selected the login page and I have the available details here on the right. So I'll go ahead and select this element and I'm going to get the details on the right. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this is going to scale with your business because you're going to be able to modify all of this without the need of a developer. Now I can change the title, the description, the details straight from here. I can select on this element. I can add another element role right here, depending on the use case. Right now I'm in login, so not much to do there. I can go into projects and I can view the projects right here. So there's a calendar. There's a section to view the link groups, the tables, and these tables are connected to the tables that I've created. So that's data that I'm able to view. So it turns a raw data table into something that is useful. So if you want to turn this into graphs, if you want to do the data, raw tables, you'll be able to do it here by just adding it or modifying. So I got the title and description straight from here. I can add more details, more elements, tables, forms, pie charts, area, and I can create a pie chart with the data that I have on my table. And it's just really exciting. Everything that you can do here with NAC AI. Now that's for pages and you'll be able to individually edit one, each one of these right here. Then you got your theme for like the general style of the theme. This is the one that's active right now. I'm going to select it and I'll be able to change the details right here too. So for example, if the colors for my branding is not green, well, I can change it to the colors that I'm going to potentially use. So you got your global styles right here. You got your font styles, your appearance and all the details available right here. Just go ahead and preview, save changes when you're, once you're good to go and boom, you got your theme ready to go. Then you got flows. So NAC has a flow features, which also automates certain processes of your application. So I would recommend jumping into templates and getting started from here. So you understand how to make a connection in this case, Google Sheets, Google Drive, etc. And then you can create your own from starting from scratch. But start from here, make your connection, understand how it works and get, get started from there. Then you got your settings, which I highly recommend that you take care of these from the beginning. So you make sure that everything's set up the way you need it, like core settings, security. You got your user roles where you can lock every single page from one go. Your custom domain, so it's not like a random domain from a NAC. It's actually the custom domain to whatever you want.com, your company.com, or dash dot your company.com. You get the idea. Plus, you get API and code access and embed access to add, for example, if you want to add a chatbot, if you want to add something into your application that is possible right here but what i really love the most about NAC is the ai builder because i can ask it to do things straight from here without having to do it manually so instead of getting into complexity by trying to do something manually by trying to figure out a connection just go ahead and ask ai and do it and it's going to do it for you so go ahead and check out NAC right now go ahead and sign up and start testing it for yourself so you can see if it's the right fit for you or not and as I mentioned before, this is going to be able to scale with your business because you're not going to be limited on the features that other applications provide. In this case, you create the table, you create the fields, and you're not limited to something that a developer has to add or they didn't add and you got to just stick with what you got. In this case, you're going to be able to scale with NAC. So sign up right now in the link in the description and that's a wrap.